In this problem, we're given a graph and we're asked to find the area of the shaded region. So we're told that the graph depicts the IQ scores of adults that are normally distributed with the mean of 100. So mu in this problem, change the color here, here we go, mu is 100. And a standard deviation of 15, that symbol for that is sigma. Then we're given uh, this graph, looks like this. And the number 90 is here. And it looks like it's shaded to the right. So whenever it's shaded to the right, um, it, it's greater than. So this is the probability that some number picked at random is greater than or equal to 90. It doesn't matter if you use greater than or greater than or equal to for the normal distribution. So because it's shaded to the right, it's greater than. If it's to the left, it's less than. Uh, so we click where it says question help. And we go to stack crunch. Okay. I'm going to detach it, make it a little bit easier to see. All right, good stuff. So we go to stat, calculators, normal. Stat, calculators, normal. Left click. And enter the mean. So the mean in this problem is mu, it's 100. Uh, the standard deviation is sigma, it's 15. And we're shading to the right, so it's greater than or equal to. Then the 90 goes in this box. And you see how it matches. We have the big P, the X, the greater than or equal to, the big P, the X, the greater than or equal to. Everything looks okay. You click Compute, and there's the answer. So 0 0.7475. That's the area of the shaded region, or the probability that X is greater than or equal to 90. So 0 0.7475. 0. 7475. Check answer. And that's it. I hope that helps.